Interest in mid-century design has flourished since the birth of the collectible design market around the year 2000, and this territory has since taken the leading role in the dynamic international marketplace. The newcomer is Latin American furniture, which has recently positioned itself strongly in the major auction houses. The post-war year witnessed an exciting and artistic energy in Latin America, and as national art scenes flourished, new design vocabularies were invented. Architects and designers were seeking to participate in the creations of new and modern national identities, and design became a political factor in the industrialization. Now a new publication comes to reveal how modernization shaped mid-century design in Latin America and to unveil its position within the larger global context. It is a hardcover catalog accompanied the first comprehensive exhibition of this theme. Moderno, designed for living in Brazil, Mexico, and Venezuela, 1940 to 1978, was presented by the America's House. The two central questions addressed by this original, remarkable, and well-researched scholarship are how design transformed the domestic landscape and lives of those living in Latin America, and in what way did modernism come to represent and to service social political changes during the decades following the Second World War? It seeks to situate Latin American design in a global context and to highlight local firms and designers responsible for this revolution. Latin America largely sheltered from the destruction and devastation of the war entered an era of economic growth starting in the late 40s. Modern design became a national enterprise that was not only endorsed by governments as a part of the growing urbanization, but also conveyed national traditions and themes. Reading this book, we learned that modernism was embraced as the official mode and the design was endorsed as an agent for development and progress. Just like the American government, which utilized modern design to convey its political agenda and powerful position, the governments of Brazil, Venezuela, and Mexico perceive design as political and encourage their citizens to embrace a modern way of living as an ideology. While we tend to include the countries in Latin America under one umbrella, we learn that each country had its unique aesthetic legacy, design vocabulary, and ambitious program, largely based on its own cultural and historical narratives. In the words of Brazilian architect Lina Bobardi, industrial design became the force of the entire society. <laughs> 